So I turned on Netflix the other day and saw a film called Spectral being advertised. I hadn't heard anything about it, hadn't seen any trailers for it, which is rare for me, especially with a film like this. Produced by Legendary Entertainment and picked up by Netflix, I sort of understood quite quickly into watching it why I hadn't heard of it. It turns out Universal was set to distribute it, but this wouldn't have been an easy movie to market, and I doubt it would have really found an audience. It's not a great film. The acting is wooden and the dialogue incredibly exposition heavy, and the whole thing lacks any sense of humour. Had it come out in cinemas, it would have probably disappeared quite quickly, and it really is very forgettable. The reason I didn't hate it though is probably due to how I saw it. I found it on a Sunday afternoon looking for something effortless to watch, and its 12 rating promised something inoffensive, and the imagery looked decent and the concept pretty cool. Sort of Battle Los Angeles mixed with World War Z, except better than the former and worse than the latter. It basically starts out as an almost carbon copy of Aliens, except with ghosts, all the way down to the massacre at court and helmet camp, before it veers off more into a war film with the soldiers gaining an actual chance against their enemy. Sadly devoid in its action scenes of tension, which, whilst well made, always happen in the bright daylight. The light they have that casts out a cool blue beam seemingly only needs to be near them or even a hundred meters away from them to show the ghosts up perfectly. There's no walking around in the dark using the beam to light them up. Where World War Z had that great tense sequence of Pip moving around a WHO building, this always goes for intensity over tension. The one scene where the light breaks and they risk not being able to see the enemy, a giant tank appears with a light on it about five seconds later. I wanted a scene like this bit in Gears of War, which was incredibly tense as the beam had to be pointed directly at the enemy, or you would die within seconds. For a film literally about spectres to not have any action at night felt like a huge missed opportunity. That said, the spectres themselves are pretty cool. They're an enemy I haven't really seen before, kind of like a more effective version of the spirits in that Final Fantasy movie. And you actually get an original, complete experience. It's not based on anything and it wraps up nicely with no real hint of a sequel. It doesn't waste time and never really stops moving enough for you to notice the complete lack of character development or the plot conveniences, feeling more like playing a really fun video game. Get this guy to direct a Vanquish or Gears of War movie and I'll be very happy indeed. Nowadays, in this world of extremes, where, based on reviews, you can apparently only get either amazing films or terrible films, I suddenly feel more the need for something like Netflix. As a kid, I used to love finding odd movies in the local video shop, renting them based on the cover art alone sometimes, or catching something on late night TV without knowing sometimes even what the title was. It's really rare to get that now. Cinemas are incredibly expensive compared to what they used to be, and the home video market is dying and contained little movies that work sat on the sofa when you want a bit of a brainless experience are quickly disappearing. If I'd spent £15 to see Spectral, I would have considered it a bit of a waste of money, but paying seven quid a month to get multiple unique, sometimes not great, but still entertaining, small, but still bigger than low budget films, yeah, I like doing that. Spectral isn't a great movie, but that's okay. I like that it exists. I like that I randomly discovered a ripoff of Aliens of Ghosts. I like that paying for a Netflix subscription means we now once again have a place that we can see something that with all its flaws was better than a lot of the shit we got in cinemas this year. I don't want a Spectral 2, but I do want enough people to see the first one to help keep films like these from disappearing completely. <laughs>